My name is Jonas. I started the Myopia journey pretty much exactly two years ago. And I was at minus 1.75 with my glasses and minus two with my contacts. And had that prescription roughly 10 years before I, grew up, before I started this journey. Today I'm at minus 0.5, uh, minus 0.75 at night. During the day, in sunny days like this, I don't need glasses. Quite an intense two years, I would say, um, in a good way. I probably improved 80% of my journey in the first six months, from 1.75 glasses to, to minus 0.5 where I'm at now, pretty much in six, seven months. Very interesting journey. I've learned a lot about myself and about the medical community and being a bit more making up my own mind more, not, not just with eyesight, but generally with medical things. How did the whole thing start off? I'm always curious about this. You. So you discover myopia and you, you start thinking about it. Walk me through the, the beginning part of the process, your first couple of reductions. But then I found in myopia as well. And in myopia, me as more credible because of the scientific articles it referenced. So I read all of those. I, I read all the material. Conceptually, it doesn't make sense. There's, I, don't, I don't see any gap, but I was skeptical. I was still very skeptical, but hopeful if it's going to work or not. So I committed. I told myself, I'm going to try this for a month. For four weeks, I'll apply all the insights from your email, from, from all the material, from all the videos, and I'll measure it myself. And if I see any improvements after four weeks, I'll continue this. I saw the first results after 14 days. Even before that, when I saw that in the mornings, would be better than in the afternoons and evenings, especially if you do uh, close-up work during the day. That already hinted at, okay, there's something to this. this is, I, can, I can measure myself day to day. My eyesight is worse in the evenings than in the mornings. Then after 14 days, I went from roughly 58 centimeters to 66 centimeters. So I was like, okay, there's some, even if I will never get to 2020, the improvement itself is already worth it. Continued, I went to an ophthalmologist after about four or five weeks into the journey, and they measured minus 1.25, minus 1.5. That's, that's like a quarter diopter difference to what I had just five weeks before. I put my previous measurement on the table and her new current measurement on the table and asked her, is it possible to improve your eyesight? No, no, not possible. Like I had both measurements on the table and then she thought, no, it's, it's the, the previous measurement was just a poor measurement. That, that was her explanation for it. I was like, okay, I, uh, just four months after I was at minus 0.75. May when I started, so by August I was in below one uh, adopter. Then I started to get more confident, deciding my own prescription strength. After I hit that 0.75, I decided, okay, I'm going to get 0.5s on top of it, playing with that and see another three months or so into it, I was, I was good with those 0 .7, uh, 0 0.5s. For the full episode of this short study podcast, visit the Back to 2020 member forum where you have access to this and lots more short sighted podcast episodes along with hundreds of pro topic videos I've made over the years and access to our member forum that has over 90,000 monthly visits, tons of community and resources to help you on your way to get back to 2020.